Hello all my earth babies and welcome to your weekly reading. I'm going to start right now. As usual, if you have not already done so, go ahead and subscribe and make sure you ding that bell so you're notified when I go live or when I upload new videos. Okay. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You still can't um, book an appointment with me on my website, but you can go to Astrology Oils on Facebook. And there is a button at the top of the page that says book now when you push that button then you will be the um, shown the uh, schedule and you can pick a time that is best for you or you can even choose one of the spreads um, which are recorded and uh, you can book right there on Facebook with me and while you're there don't forget to like and share the page I would appreciate it Okay, now here we go with you guys, with you Earth babies. Um, let's see what's going on with you guys this week. Okay, overall is the Four of Earth, and you have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, now this is pretty much the same card, um, and that is, I don't think that has ever happened before. Um, the Four of Earth and the Four of Pentacles is all about putting stuff away um, for leaner times, and you have it right now to do it, uh, so right now is the best time for you to do this, and, and with this doubling up like this, I think this is an urgent kind of thing for you and you really need to get this done as soon as you can you know put away as much as you can if you gotta start up a savings account right now do it um and my husband is an earth sign so um we have been talking about lately i don't know if you have or not we've been talking about lately putting away quite a bit of his paycheck um in order to save up for a down payment for a home in the spring so maybe this is just things that go um things that you have been thinking about doing and putting stuff away uh, now is the time to do it especially this week I mean like I said you have double double four of Pentacles double, and you know four of earth four of Pentacles same thing uh, so really put away as much as you can put away put away, put away as much resources as you can okay sorry about that if you can hear the dog in the background obviously the kids are getting up and the dog is getting noisy try to get this done here okay now on monday you have the father of Pen father of cups now the father of cups is really loving energy and creative energy and here at the beginning of the week he's really going to get um things going for you especially when it comes to creativity um i see this having a lot to do with um, what you're passionate about more than um, relationships I see you know this is the three of wands you're moving forward and leaving stuff behind that doesn't serve you anymore and you're moving forward towards something that you're really passionate about and not only are you passionate about it but it is your um, your life's path this is way where you're supposed to be going this is your journey um, and uh, there's going to be a lot of Create creativity coming your way. Um, you're going to be feeling really creative. You're going to be thinking about different ways to do things and uh, maybe get things done. Maybe thinking about different ways to put away resources and what have you. I mean, even going to see a uh, financial advisor maybe. Okay, now come Tuesday, you have the Four of Pentacles. Now, you're going to be feeling like there's lack. Um, and don't let that sneak back in there. I mean, just because you feel like you're in lack doesn't mean you are. You know, when you have these, these the Four of Earth, Four of Pentacles, when you have that 
um, coming in here and it's coming in here again right here really put away the things that you know you're going to need put away your resources you know you have a triple four triple four pentacles here um make sure um that instead of feeling like you're in lack make sure you realize just how much you're putting away bella quit sorry about that um, make sure you're putting away what you need to put away in order to um, make sure that you're going to have what you need uh, for the long term. And when you do that, you're going to have um, strength coming in and you're going to get that feeling of you're where you're supposed to be, you have what you need, um, you're confident, you're secure in where you are, you're in control. Of what is going on in your in your life and you also have the five of stones coming in and this is an endurance this is endurance this is um, you know something that you really have to just sit back and let happen it's not something that it's not an action card so whatever this issue is with the the putting away funds like it is for you know like I said for myself and my husband we are putting away money um, to save up for a home. It's not like we have to endure this. It's something that is going to take time in order to do. So maybe you just have to be patient with the process that is going on right now. And on Wednesday, you have the Mother of Cups coming in. And the Mother of Cups is all about communication. And um, when it comes to this kind of communication, you have the Eight of Pentacles and you have the four vessels coming in here so um this looks like you're trying to perfect in your craft and you're paying close details or paying attention to the small details but you're getting bored with the whole thing um try to find a way when it comes to your profession um to communicate with other people and kind of may put a little bit more fun back in your work Okay, now on Thursday, you have the Wheel of Fortune, so things are really going to be starting to look up on Thursday. Maybe you're coming into some found money, um, maybe you're going to have some kind of a financial windfall, or maybe you were, um, maybe things are just going to look up for you and you're going to be told that you're going to be moving into a new position at work, something like that. And you have the Five of Cups. Now, there's going to be some kind of mourning. You're going to feel some kind of loss. Um, but the Five of Cups is all about um, acknowledging the grief, but then acknowledging that you still have quite a bit left. You know, there's still two cups that are upright. Uh, so don't focus too much on what you've lost because you have a lot more to look forward to. And you have, you still have... Um, those two cups that are left and this is the world tree and this is basically the same as the wheel of fortune um, but you're it's a little different in the fact that you're moving into the next phase of your life and there's there's luck love and abundance coming to you in this next phase now on Friday on Friday, you have the Nine of Wands, which is telling you to let go of past regrets and let go of um, negativities that have happened in your plant in your past that have um, that are keeping you up at night. You know, just because things have happened in the past doesn't mean that they're going to happen again in the future. And um, I'm sorry, let me fix this. And the more you concentrate on those past negativities the more it's going to drag you down so try and release all of that negative energy and you have a bunch of opportunities coming your way and they are not just opportunities they are this is the ace of stones these are the foundations of life these are foundations of new beginnings for you and they're unlimited opportunities for you so um, when it comes to all of these opportunities that are coming at you on Friday make sure that you look them all over and pick the one that is 
be most beneficial for you in the long term because this is going to be a long term uh, situation that you are deciding upon. And come this weekend, you have the Ten of Cups. Now, again, this is all your relationships, your home life, um, everything that you have, have dreamed and wished for, um, especially when it comes to um, your home life and relationships. These are, um, that's all coming true. It's all coming together. It's all, you know, you're going to have that feeling where you are where you're supposed to be in your life, especially when it comes to the people that are in your life. And you have the Two of Swords reminding you that if there's decisions to be made, keep your heart out of it. You know, you may you need to make, um, give yourself the chance to make wise, informed decisions and not um, put your emotions into the fray here. Because when you add too much emotion into certain situations and certain decisions, um, you can make the wrong decision just based on you know you the way you feel about the situation but look at things from a different standpoint of view look at things from a more informed base than a um than an emotional one and when you some of these decisions are going to be making some people jealous um just kind of guard yourself about from people that are talking negatively about the way things are going in your life. Um, these people have a tendency to be downers even when, you know, things are looking really up for you. Things may not be looking up for them and maybe try to see things from their standpoint and even maybe try to help them out in some way if possible. I hope you guys enjoyed that reading. Before you go, watch more Earth Sign videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video.